What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you on A12, A13, A14 devices waiting for a jailbreak on 14.4 all the way up to 14.6. So finally we have great news. The changelog for iOS 14.7 was posted and boy does it contain a lot of great information. So as you probably know, every time a new iOS version is released, Apple does release the security content. However, they did release this, but only a couple of days later. So after they released it, we finally saw what was patched and boy there are great things in here, especially from Linus Henze. Linus Henze is apparently a security researcher working for this company, Pinoten or Pinoten, depending on how you want to call it, and apparently it's a security company, but here you can see that they have multiple kernel vulnerabilities, and the first one in here, let me actually make this bigger, and the first one in here says, quote, a malicious attacker with arbitrary read and write capability may be able to bypass pointer authentication. So that's PAC, pointer authentication code, which is one of the most important security mitigations introduced in A12 and newer so if you're able to bypass that you're able to get back to you know exploits and stuff that can be used for a jailbreak it's basically what separates the A12 devices and newer from the older ones in terms of complexity so they already got this done which is absolutely great for jailbreak purposes it's an important component and then just an entry below it's again Linus Hansey with quote an attacker that has already achieved kernel code execution and may be able to bypass kernel memory mitigations. So this, this in itself is a complete jailbreaking here. If you can bypass kernel memory mitigations, that means you can get root, you can bypass the sandbox, you can bypass code sign and amphi, you basically got a jailbreak there. So these two entries in here seem to be very, very powerful. And if we do get them from Linus Hansey in the future, since they were patched, that would definitely be great for the jailbreak community, because those are exactly what we need in order to update the uncovered jailbreak or in order to update the Torin jailbreak, depending on where they stand when it comes to jailbreaking tools, but we can also finally finish Pawn Mai, a jailbreak that is currently highly work in progress, but this one would be Safari based or WebKit based. You probably remember it, I talked about it in my previous videos. It's basically a jailbreak from Safari. You open a website, press jailbreak and you are jailbroken. No IPAs and no computer and no alt store and stuff like that. But what they are missing here is basically the kernel exploit. They do have the WebKit exploit, which works all the way up to 14.6, but they don't have the kernel exploit that's what they need so if this gets released in here with a PAC bypass as well if you're reading here then that would be perfect because we can update uncovered Torin and even finish pawn my so that would be absolutely great and that's not even 1% of the security content here there are multiple other vulnerabilities multiple other components that are affected and a ton of WebKit vulnerabilities as well like the one used in the pawn my so this is a great update it means that I iOS 14.6 is very vulnerable, 14.5.1 is very vulnerable, and of course 14.5 14.4.1, 14.4, and so on. So if you're planning to jailbreak anytime soon, especially on the A12, A13, and A14 devices like the iPhone 12, 11, and so on, then definitely stay below 14.6. iOS 14.7 is now available, so if you try to update, it will update directly to 14.7. Now, speaking of downgrades, here on my website, iDeviceCentral.com, I made a full write-up in here on how to use Future Restore in order to downgrade with saved blobs. So if you wanted to do that for a while and if you wanted to know how to do it or you never knew how to do it, there's also a video available, but there's also here the text version of that video. So it contains everything, including links for the future restore for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. There's also a table of contents in here if you want to get to the right section fast. So definitely check this article out if you want to downgrade your iOS version. You have everything you need in there. It contains everything about the compatibility, what you need, when you can do it, where you can do it, and so on. But yeah, if you're running 14.7 right now, do know that all these vulnerabilities I mentioned are not part of it. This iOS version 
patches this vulnerability so you have to go back to 14.6 or lower. If you're currently jailbroken do not update because you will be able to update in the future with the 90 days update method that was found by the Cilio Discord so definitely stay where you are. But yeah definitely great news for the jailbreak community finally some great bugs that do have potential for the jailbreak community. They're now patched so it shouldn't take long before we can see them. So yeah thank you for watching I am Geos now till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.